It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. So much had happened. So much had changed. I was Claire Randall, then Claire Beecham, then Claire Fraser. The question was, who did I want to be? I tried to imagine a life for us both, but I felt adrift, anchorless in a running sea. Whatever happens, we'll handle it, no matter the cost. I'm not the meek and obedient type. I'll give you nothing. Come back to me, James Fraser. I am thrilled to have two of the stars from the very popular TV series, Outlander, back with us on Sidewalks again uh, to talk all about the inside scoop on their TV series and fan favorite show, Outlander. I'd like to welcome Sam Hewen and Katrina Balf to Sidewalks. Hi. Hey guys, so welcome back to Sidewalks. It's so great to have you. Thank you so much. Thanks. It's so nice to be yes, back. Yes, nice to be back. Well, I'd like to start out learning a little bit more about each of you. Sam, I know that you are originally from Scotland, and as a kid, what were you interested in, and, and uh, you know, what did you do? Yes, I, I'm from Scotland, from the southwest, a uh, place called uh, New Galloway, Dumfrieshire. It's a very rural area, and uh, I, s I spent most of my childhood <laughs> kind of on my own, uh, <laughs> playing in the forests, and uh, I was very fortunate. I. I uh, grew up in, in sort of a, an old castle grounds, and uh, so, yeah, I spent a lot of time outdoors. Um, and was very fortunate as a child to have that sort of upbringing. And Katrina, I know that you hail from Ireland, which is a relatively small place in square miles. Um, <laughs> as a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Was uh, acting always kind of a part of the equation? Yes, very much so. I think uh, from the moment I can remember, I was, I was one of those precocious little kids that wanted to be an actor. I was quite devastated that my parents wouldn't let me be a child actor. Um, but likewise <laughs> to Sam, I, uh, I grew up in the countryside, so I was very much a tomboy. I was always out climbing trees and building forts with my brothers and stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was a nice country lifestyle. Well, I'd like to talk about Outlander. Now, did the two of you know each other before you were cast uh, with one another? Or what was your first sort of interaction like when you met? Uh, no, did you, did you have a first impression? Well, yeah, we had never met. Um, Sam had already been cast uh, quite a few months. Mm -hmm. And then um, he was flown to LA to chemistry test with, I believe, a number of actresses. Yes, it was pretty tough. <laughs> Um, Kiss lots of girls. But, yeah. Uh, um, no, but uh, when we first met, I mean, I just remember walking into the room and, you know, it's quite a nerve wracking situation. You, you know, you're going in there hoping to impress some people. And, and I remember walking in and Sam was just this calm center in the room. And, and, you know, immediately we just started chatting and we got along really well. So it's probably just talking over. <laughs> probably. <laughs> and Sam, what did you think of Katrina? Yeah, absolutely. We'd. Uh, we'd been all over, you know, looking for this actress, and we tested girls in London and in um, Los Angeles. And uh, Katrina walked in. Well, you know, she was there. She walked in. Um, I think she was late, but I, at the time, I didn't know that. And uh, <laughs> she just looked fantastic. And she came in, and we started talking, and just really hit it off. And the scenes uh, that we were tested with just went really well. They were, they were quite intense, quite physical. And uh, I just remember sort of thinking halfway through, you know, one of the takes, it was like. Wow, this is this is going really well. She's fantastic. And you found her. Well, the TV, the TV series has really picked up steam since its debut. Now that your characters, Jamie and Claire, are happily married, uh, what can you tell us about the ongoing evolution of their relationship? Happily married. Yeah, happily oh. married. I don't know. Are you <laughs> They're really trying to figure it out. Um, you know, sure. I, what I love about the writing in this show and what I love about what they've done is, you know, yes, they got married and they immediately sort of fall in love under that circumstance. But it's a long process for them to, you know, understand each other. They both are two very different people from very different times. And that causes a lot of friction and tension. And 
you know, as as they kind of the immediate honeymoon of their wedding sort of wears off, you see a lot of that come into play. And, you know, they really have to dig deep within themselves to to find a way to understand where each other are coming from. And, and I really like that about their relationship. Yeah. Yeah. And it's certainly their relationship is developing. It feels like a very almost a modern relationship. They're always learning about each other and, mm -hmm. and, and teaching other, each other new things. Now, does the series pretty much follow uh, Diana Gabaldon's book series, or do the writers get any kind of flexibility to sort of expand some of the story arcs? I think everyone was quite, um, they, they felt it was quite important to stick very closely to the books. I mean, obviously, with, in the process of adaptation, there are changes that need to be made. Um, each episode needs to have its own sort of story arc. So, you know, you have to play around a little bit with the times, or, or different situations. And, and you know, the great thing is we've been able to add some really kind of interesting and, and fun things that maybe give the audiences and, and the fans of Diana's book something new to appreciate. But, you know, we always kind of bring it back to the story that Diana created in the, originally. I wanted to congratulate you guys on uh, being renewed for a second season. The show is just a steamroller and it's doing so fabulous. You know, we're almost out of time, but, um, I, I'm kind of curious how your lives have changed because of the success of the show. You know, can you can you go to your local grocery store and shop without being sort of recognized, or, or do you mind having the fans stop by and say hello to you? It's terrific when anyone any fan does come and sort of come up to you in the street or in the airport uh, is, is more likely. But um, you know, we have been shooting in in the UK and sort of been removed from you know the success of the show over here in, in the US. But um, it's now premiered in the UK and. Uh, Certainly that momentum is building. And last night we had the, the premiere of the second part of the season um, in New York. And that was, you know, a terrific evening. And there were lots of fans there supporting us. So uh, it's been wonderful you know, yeah. to have that support. It's, it's only, I mean, it's all been very positive and, and that just feels really great. I mean, it's so fantastic to be able to do a job that you love and to be part of something that's so great. But to have all the support of the fans too is, is really fantastic. Thank you both so much for being with us today on Sidewalks. I look forward to the next time we can chat. Take care, Thank okay? Thank you so much. Lovely to chat with you again, Cindy. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.